Hey everyone, I'm in the shop right now and I figured it would be a good opportunity. We're gonna go over the operation of a KWM Iron Man gutter machine. Let's get into this. We're gonna start with how to load a coil onto the gutter machine and that's because before you can do any of the controls, you need coil in the machine. So we're gonna show you how to load a spool. Uh, we don't have a cradle. A cradle is actually easier than a spool, but we'll show you how to load the spool, spool that comes with the KWM gutter machine. First, you're gonna pull the pin, uh, twist the brake off, flip that over like so, and then there's same thing on both sides. So twist that brake up, brake off and then you're ready to just lift the spool off there. And then pull the pin, get your coil. This is a very small coil. It's just a little extra coil. There we go. Just for demonstration, put it on there. The typical coil would not be this loose. It would actually be a lot tighter than this, but since this is a half run coil, um, that's why it's sitting so loose on the spool. Uh, so you have, on these spools, you have two different settings, uh, two different uh, areas you could put the pin. This one's for five inch gutter. This one's for six inch gutter. So, Make sure you're using the right pin hole that way your uh, coil gets fed into the gutter machine properly and you don't tear up the gutter machine as you load this up you're going to want to make sure that the coil goes from the top down the, the paint when it gets fed into the gutter machine should be on the bottom so we're going to lift it up go on there your pin in and tighten your brake down a little bit you don't want it to not be able to pull but I don't want it to to spin all the way off as soon as you push the the go button on the machine so there we go pins in now we're gonna go ahead take the tape off of here once you have your coil up up on the spool um, and you have it unwrapped from it, its original packaging, you can take um, clippers. These are actually hedge clips, and I like them a lot better than using hand snips because hand snips just take longer. This is one snip where hand, little uh, 10 snips take like three, four cuts to do this. Uh, you need a three by three triangle roughly is what KWM asks for in the manual, and this just helps feed it through the gutter machine when you're first getting started. So you take this uh, and as you can see, color side is down and then you feed it right between these two and then you have a bunch of rows. I think it's gonna be hard for you to see it, but there are a bunch of rows of rollers that you need to go under and on this particular machine, you go past the first three small rollers and you have to hit the big first, uh, the first big roller. So past three rollers, you stick it in there. Okay, now that we have the coil on here, we're ready to take a look at our first control panel. And that's over here on the back side of the machine. If you're looking at it from the front of the machine, it's on your left hand side. If you're looking at it from the back, it's on your right hand side. We have a green button and we have a red kill switch. Um, and that, I mean, it does what it pretty much does. It's a green button means go. The red kill switch is an emergency stop. Uh, whenever you hit this green button, you wanna make sure you are on the back side of this coil. You do not want to be wrapping your hand around in this thing i've seen guys try it this thing this coil is about to suck through the machine so you want to hit that green button and i'm hitting that green button you just want it to get started and then we're ready to move around to the front of the gutter machine and we can go over 
the main control panel. So this is a main control panel. We have a forward and a reverse. We have a jog and a run switch. We have a green start and a red stop button here. We have power outlets and we have your power source um, plug-in cable. So we're gonna go up here and we are going to put it in forward and just regular jog. There we go, we have the coil running out. You wanna give it about six inches. And then cut, use the guillotine, cut that piece off. And now we can go over, so forward, reverse. That's forward, that's reverse. Very self-explanatory. I'm gonna put it in forward. And right now it's in jog, we're gonna move it to run mode and it runs hands-free. You go to stop it, you click stop. Now, we go to jog mode, we're gonna reverse a little bit. Um, I can run it, but only for as long as I'm holding the green button. So the run mode is really good for really long pieces of gutter where you can go and actually adjust your stands uh, and then run back to the machine and click stop. You can also just automatically flick it, set it to jog and it'll automatically stop. Jog mode is more for when you're trying to get a precise measurement or shorter pieces. Um, so that is the main controls. The, the outlets down here, these are great for fans, chargers, miter saws, anything you may need on the job site. Um, like I said, main, main power source here is an extremely thick gauge extension cord. I'm not sure on the gauge, but it is specced for this machine. I'll tell you what the gauge of the extension cord is down in the bottom uh, in the description under this video. Uh, you have the guillotine here. We already put it on. Super awesome, super satisfying. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much operation of the KWM Ironman gutter machine.